Hey everybody, this is Vril continuing our playthrough of Vietnam 65. We are now on the 22nd turn of 45 turns. We've got another NVA base that's spawned at some point on this map. Our political capital is doing pretty well as well, although that will go down if we don't take care of this NVA base. So let's see what we can do. I know we took some damage here. We've got some Green Berets. Our howitzer is completely out of ammunition, so that's a problem. Let's see if we could get a Huey to bring us some supplies. Actually, let's, let's make sure that all of our units do have supply before we use up one of our Hueys to bring ammunition. So let's... I think we're good. Apparently we need to get our artillery uh, shells from the main base here. Forgot about that. Okay, so we are bringing an Arvin unit up here. It's going to take a couple turns to do this. We've got this guy as well is also being brought, so let's... Let's keep to the main road here though. We don't want to be, you know, heading down here and get into an RPG fire. Some have them move this way. I mean, we could. Uh, in the last episode, I think we had some RPG fire from this side as well though. So let's drop them off at the base here and then I think I'm going to... These guys are pretty high rank. I'm going to have them head towards this village over here. Okay, can't do anything with them yet, but we will we'll basically be having them do the same thing that we just did here. Although, actually now that I think of it, maybe we should, although we did see, I'm gonna move one tile. Okay, we did take them out. That was a, I knew they were gonna be in around there somewhere. Okay, did he just say there was a base over there? Yeah, he did, but I did not see a base. Okay, let's see. What are, what are we doing here? This could be another guy that just would be good to pick up. And actually move them up to this village. Just let these uh, Hueys be taxis for our troops here. All right, and we'll clear mines. Nothing around, though. All right, now we'll send you back. Okay, another Huey. Don't need any supplies. Let's see, what do we got back at the base? Don't have anything. Do we want to purchase... What kind of tank is this? It's a patent tank. Let's go ahead. It's got good supply. See, these units all have this inflation cost for each unit, unit that you own. Can engage at range, high combat strength. Okay, let's give this a shot. I actually haven't used a tank in the playthroughs that I've done yet, and I don't think I can um, do anything about, you know, the. I don't think they can be picked up with helicopter. Maybe a Chinook can, but I don't think so. Let me see. Before I move him, let me just see. I wouldn't think that, uh, I wouldn't think the Huey can do it. Yeah, it's not able to do anything. Not sure why they're really, this Huey was hanging around this part, these parts anyway. So let's, it's gonna take a little while, but this tank's going to head to the front. It's gonna take six turns. See, that's where I'm like, it's not, it doesn't really make all that much sense to build roads. I mean, you, it didn't gain us that much. There is an actual road here. Still didn't gain us all that much. Let's set this guy up in ambush mode. I mean, the, the tank luckily did not cost that much, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. All right, well, we've got our Cobra. Okay, there's that base. 
So... We cannot use... I think because it's rainy, we maybe we can't use this airstrike, so... Because I did think it was on cooldown, or done with its cooldown. Alright, so we've got the Cobra. We'll just leave him here. What about this one? We could have him move... Right here, and I think that our engineer can repair him. Or her, whichever you prefer. Okay, we're not really checking much out on these top couple of villages, although this one does have our support fully. What else out here? Out of ammo, yes, that was our other issue. Why haven't we not done something about that? Or did we do that? I think we did, but let's... Okay, yeah, this it was this helicopter here, I think, that... Well, let's just double check. Let's double check. Okay. Nobody else to really pick up, although I think I'm going to move this guy and pick him up next round. Okay, let's see. Nothing to do with the artillery, unfortunately. These guys we can... I'll send them down into the, into the jungle here. Just send these guys down the road. We've got our Cobra. We'll just leave there. All units have moved. Okay. So it's still raining. Can't use our airstrike or anything, but we can use this guess we can't cross, so that part's a bummer, but that is fine, I suppose. Let's... I know these guys will move automatically when... I'm actually thinking... Let's check that Chinook out and see if it can pick up this tank. No, it cannot. Okay. You can only move infantry or art artillery. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to send him... Actually, we'll do this. What we'll do is we will send these guys all the way out here, and we're going to go pick them up with the Chinook and send them back to the base to heal up. And this army, we're going to have these guys run out here so they can be picked up. Moving to LZ. Okay, this unit is going to need supplies, actually, so let's... Just double check this. I think we've got a free. No, we don't. Do not. Well, this helicopter needs. I think he can actually get all the way to supplying him. And then we'll send him back to. No, no, he cannot. Okay, that's gonna be. Not sure if he's gonna make it. Okay. Well, this one. Need supplies here soon as well. Out of ammo. Yep, out of ammo. Let's see if... I know we've tried this before. 
Let's see if we can do any damage to this NVA base. Nope. That is unfortunate. Another Cobra. I thought I don't even think I'll waste my time. I will try to see if I can spot anybody though, but we're really not seeing very much. Drop these Arvin units close by. Actually, we should be able to, yeah, we can almost at least start crossing. All right, nothing else to move. And we've got another Arvin unit here. Should be ready to go. Okay, so actually there was a contact there. We'll take him out easily. Yeah, that was nice and easy. Let me sweep for mines around here. Okay, let me sweep for mines. Okay, swept a lot of mines there. Luckily, I did that. And I think we had some Cobras around here. I can go ahead and take out this guy that's in the trees over here. Yep, took them out. The village is nice. It looks like our score is... Hearts and Minds score is up to past 61, which was our goal. We'll see if we can actually hold that through turn 45. Okay, so this guy has no more movement. Okay, we actually, I did not notice, but it's no longer raining, so we can do an airstrike. And they missed, unfortunately. So there, I mentioned that they can miss. Luckily, it didn't do any harm to anything, so not too bad. But we will have a five, uh, five round cooldown on that, which is the, the worst part of it. Nothing shot at us there, though. Okay, we just brought in this this army that is not in very good shape. Let's see if we can risk it here. And we successfully did that, even though. They were pretty banged up. Nice. All right. Well, we'll see what we can do. I have some units that are going to need to be supplied here. I'll be curious where the bases start to come from. I mean, we're pretty close to the side of the map here. I think they have to come through, and they might come through over here now. So we've mostly blocked everything off. Okay, we are far away from anything where this guy is. Let's just move into these tree in the tree line here. Where was our artillery that we were supposed to be bringing? Okay, that guy was going here. This guy was going here. Looks like this helicopter will drop some units. I'm going to have him drop 
these guys right here, and then he should head on back for fuel. Okay, well... Not really seeing anything for the engineer to do. Too bad he can't <laughs> manifest some artillery shells for our artillery. Okay. Not sure what happened there, but the game locked up for a moment. Okay, so we've got one... We can get one more Arvin unit at this fire base. There's a lot of helicopters around here. <laughs> Let's... Have these guys head back to Bravo base here. And these guys... I'm gonna have them set up. Just in case we see something. Alright, well our tank just was damaged way over here. Let's... Can't do anything to attack them. But I'm going to think to kind of cancel what we were doing. Alright, well those, that helicopter brought in the supplies we needed. And this helicopter needs to head back and get some fuel, it looks like. We're really, really good over here. So no NVA bases. We've got 62 hearts and mind score. We're on turn 25 or 45. Let's move these guys into the village over here. Of course, nothing found. Okay, we need to resupply, and actually, we are not going to be able to make it back to the base here, so let's... This one should be able to make it, though. We can use our engineer to give this some fuel here. We are going to need some supplies around here. So let's... I'm not going to worry about what exactly to supply and just focus on sending the helicopter that way for the supply. Same goes for this. The Cobras. I think everything will be going back to this base for a resupply, and this guy will just head right here. I'm gonna have some of these units kind of venture into the into the jungle here. It's not too good that these guys here. I'm gonna pick them up, take them back to the base. That was what I was originally trying to do, and then I accidentally forgot <laughs> what we were actually doing, but it ended up well because it took out that that uh, NVA base that was there. All right, well, these guys, we're just gonna need to set them up. Move these guys over to this direction. On Setting up ambush. So they were two turns, two turns, two turns. Don't think there were any other helicopters that 
we're not already low on supplies. This guy does need to rebase though so that we can actually use him next round, next turn. All right. Okay, well, it's turn 26, we're up to 62 on the Hearts and Minds score. No NVA bases or anything like that. We just had a contact over here, though, so they're probably around. Uh, at least Ho Chi Minh trails are active. So it does look like we're out of time for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.